Uh, thank you, everybody. Um, I think I'll take a few of those comments from the, the last presentation on board. Firstly, I'm a commercial person by training, uh, so I'm in trouble there. And secondly, we're investing in North America, so I think we're in double trouble. So uh, I'll try to recover from, from that starting point, hopefully, in the next 10 minutes. Look, we're, we're a, uh, a junior oil and gas company listed on the Aussie Exchange. Uh, we uh, have built and uh, sold businesses, made money for our shareholders, uh, and this is our second uh, second go round in building our uh, in building our businesses. <coughs> Just a couple of uh, sort of stop press latest news items for us. Uh, we have a very active next three months uh, for ahead of us. Uh, we're drilling three wells between now and Christmas, and they've got the chance to significantly grow the scale uh, of our business. South Timberland 224, it's drilling right now. Uh, as of Thursday when I wrote this, we were at 1,600 feet uh, and the 20-inch casing had been set. We're now at uh, just short of 4,000 feet, uh, drilling ahead towards 5,000 to the next casing point. Uh, that well will be at TD uh, by mid-December, testing a, uh, a 90 BCF gas condensate play. Secondly, uh, in December, we're going to be testing uh, a very interesting upside to our discovery well at South Marsh Island 70, 71. Uh, that's going to test a, a five and a half million barrel prospective resource. Uh, we have already booked a five million barrel uh, gross field there last year. That field will be uh, in development by January of 2018. So we're rapidly closing in on, on our first production asset in the Gulf. Uh, the next three months for us, a high level of activity and we expect to see that follow on in 2018. Just last week, uh, the team and I, we closed an $8.5 million capital raise. Uh, it was the first time we have raised money since uh, 2009. In fact, between 2009 and now, we've returned uh, around a net $65 million Australian dollars through capital returns to our shareholders. So we have taken advantage to uh, exit, divest, and monetize assets through the way. Last week, we also secured some new acreage adjacent to our current exploration well. Our placement uh, that we finished last week uh, it was nearly three times oversubscribed, so we're very pleased with the response. Uh, it will give us, uh, once the placement closes, around 22.5 million US dollars of cash to fund our current program. So we're very well funded for uh, everything we're doing in the next uh, three to six months. Uh, the team, um, myself, uh, Paul Sinicia is uh, here. If you want to talk about any of the rocks, Paul's our, uh, uh, our exploration manager, new ventures manager. So Paul and I are available uh, if you want to talk about any of the uh, rocks. Small team based in Perth uh, with a with, uh, team over in Houston as well that support us. This is how we got uh, to where we got to. I mentioned that we've bought and or built and sold businesses before. Uh, we had uh, an asset that a lot of people in London know very well, the Gallock Field in the Philippines. We had that asset up until the early part of 2015. Uh, timing is everything in this business or is, is as important as the quality of your projects. Uh, we exited that asset uh, priced at $100 a barrel in the ground uh, in late 14, early 15, and uh, we delivered 6.5 cents share return to our investors in, in June of 2015. We've gone on and done a series of deals uh, in the US focused on the shallow water Gulf of Mexico. Uh, in that environment, uh, we're generally between inking farm end deals and drilling wells around three to four months. Uh, and from discovery through to production is anywhere between eight and, uh, and about 15 months. So it's a very short cycle time, uh, focus on liquids, uh, high liquid yield projects. So we're taking advantage uh, of the current recovery in, in oil prices. As I said, the next three months for us see quite an active period of drilling wells. This is our current acreage spread. Uh, on the western side in South Marsh Island parish area, uh, South Marsh Island 71, that was the location of our discovery well last year. Uh, that field will be on production by January of 2018. The field should do uh, 3,000 to 4,000 barrels a day gross, uh, and we are 50% of that production number. 
And as I mentioned a minute ago, we'll test the B65, which is another sand interval that we didn't test last year in this coming exploration program or current drilling program. To the eastern side, South Timberlair 224, uh, that well is drilling right now. It will hit reservoir, we expect, in the second week of December, uh, and we're well on track with that exploration program. In 2018, we have an opportunity called Bivouac Peak. Uh, that opportunity, again, it's a uh, near shore project. Uh, they're all Miocene Pliocene geologies, uh, and we will expect to drill that well in around August of next year. That's a company maker. That's a very large field. We're 45% uh, and testing around 170 BCF gas condensate target. So if that comes in, it's a company maker for us. Beyond that, our screening criteria for opportunities, we're looking at uh, sub 300 foot water depth projects. They're all generally within uh, a short distance tie into pipelines. In fact, our discovery last year was 400 feet about 170 metres from the nearest oil pipeline. So cycle times are, are very short. CapEx is cheap. Uh, Jack-up rates in the US at the moment are still around fifty dollars to $55,000 a day. So we're drilling shallow water wells uh, around uh, $6.5 million completed on production. I'm not going to talk about uh, the, the counter-cyclicality of, of what's going on, but uh, we've heard a lot about shale. Uh, there is uh, a vacant space in the shallow water shelf. Nobody's putting capital in there right now. Uh, the current North American players are investing purely uh, into P&A obligations or into production workovers and enhancements. There is room for people that are willing to take uh, a modicum of risk uh, and invest into uh, exploration opportunities in the Gulf. Uh, these, again, are... Um, uh, low break-evens, in fact, our SM71 project breaks even at about $23 to $24 a barrel. So you can make very good money on these projects. It just happens to be an area no one's investing in right now. The core of our strategy, uh, we're doing things a little differently to the junior oil company model. Uh, we're not going out bidding acreage. We're not going out uh, buying seismic, doing lots of G&G work. We're coming in on ground floor terms into drill-ready prospects. Our job, my job and Paul's job, uh, is to find the best prospects, high-grade them, uh, and put the money right into the drill bit. We're looking to build 5,000 barrels a day of production over the next two years. The first project should get us about a third to halfway there. And what we're looking for is another three or four projects that can add to that production base. Once we've got the production base up, uh, we can then talk about where we go from there. Uh, more of the same. Deeper water, Mexico, where do we go after, uh, after we get the first base built? But uh, this is how it looks today. We've got drill-ready prospects. They'll all be drilled this quarter. And behind that, we've got an active program for 2018 drilling. Uh, if you want to come and look at any of the seismics, Paul and I are happy to take you through uh, any, of the, uh, any of the key projects. But I'm going to very quickly skim through to uh, one of the pivotal slides. This is our project, the SM71 project. Platform uh, goes out offshore in the next two weeks. Pipelines were installed two weeks ago, uh, and the ENSCO 68 drill rig will arrive during November to complete the two-well program. It will test the B65 interval as well, and we can show you that in detail uh, over, uh, over in our booth. Platform as of two weeks ago, all the decks were stacked. Uh, this thing is just about ready to be loaded out and sent offshore. So lots of activity at SM71 this quarter. Uh, drilling, construction, installation, and first oil. South Timberlair 224, this is the prospect drilling right now. It's an 11,500 foot well. Uh, we're already down just short of 4,000 feet, uh, and we expect second week of December to be, to be into, uh, into reservoir. Uh, it's a 90 BCF gas condensate target, so net 3.5 to 5.5 million barrels to us. We're 25% equity paying 25% uh, into this well. Development time frame, if this is a discovery, will be on production uh, by June of 2018. So in summary, uh, this is our activity window. Uh, you can see both at SM71 and ST224, three wells this quarter, production from January and a follow-up around SM71. 
ST224, success into discovery and development next year. And it's basically build, repeat, and follow on. So that's the Otto business plan, business model. Um, happy to take any questions over at our booth if you want to follow up. Thanks for your time.